everyone, I'm Christine and today we're going to talk about how to ace your app critiques during design interviews. This video was sponsored by Code Academy, which is a great platform to learn how to code for beginners, especially if you're new to this field and you want to just get familiar with the languages that engineers use and you yourself want to learn if coding is right for you, I would definitely check out Code Academy because they are having a back to school sale right now and you can get more than 35% off their regular price to get complete access to their interactive curriculum. I appreciate Code Academy because they make learning really bite-sized and fun, so check out the link down below to get that 35% off. Code Academy also gives you a custom recommendation of courses, so if you're new to coding, you just have to answer a few of these questions. So I'm going to choose learn enough about code to communicate with engineers since I'm a designer. I choose the topic that I'm most interested in and I'm going to do this once or twice a week and then it recommends me a course. So this is the basic HTML and CSS course and although you don't need to know how to code as a designer, it is pretty useful if you know the basics of HTML and CSS, especially when you are working on your portfolio website. It just comes in really handy if you know the language. And they also have some design courses you can take. So this is the color theory course and I really like how interactive it is. As you change the number on the hue attribute, you can see the change on the screen. So if you run it, you see what effect it has on the color. Now let's get to the meat and the potatoes. So just a little background, I've been a product designer for more than four years now and I've done over 20 interviews with different companies and I've done about eight app critiques and I've passed every single one of them. So I think I can confidently say that I am pretty good at app critiques and I wanted to share some tips that you will find helpful on acing your own app critiques during design interviews. When we hear the word app critique, it usually triggers a lot of anxiety for people because it is scary to be judged on the spot for the things that you say. You don't even know if you're saying the right things. And a lot of that uncertainty drives that anxiety. And I'm just gonna break things down for you because there is no more uncertainty after this video. You're gonna be very crystal clear on what you need to focus on so that you can pass that round of interviews. The first thing I wanna talk about is why we even have app critiques. What's the purpose of app critiques? And I always like to go back to the why because that's just gonna help you prioritize what you actually need to focus on and what's noise, right? There's a lot of other things that you could be doing to prepare for interviews. So you wanna stay hyper-focused. And when you think about so once you're hired, you're not gonna be doing app critiques with your team because you're gonna be so busy working on the designs for the products that your company is making. So app critiques are really for interviewers to get a sense of your critical thinking skills. And you're gonna prove how you critically think by touching on your product thinking and your visual and interaction design skills. Now that we've answered the why, we're gonna answer the how. How are we going to prove to these interviewers that we know how to think critically? We're gonna do that with a structure. Having a structure will help you identify the strong and weak parts of the app when it comes to functionality. So what problem is the app trying to solve and how is it trying to solve that problem? When it comes to visual design, interaction design, and the overall user experience. You can set up a structure using these three easy steps. So step number one is give a brief overview of the app. Give a brief summary of what the app is, what problem it's solving, and how it's solving the problem. So if we take Google Maps as an example, the purpose of the app is to help people get from point A to B. The problem that they're solving is before Google Maps, people used to take out maps. They had to manually print it out. It was a pretty cumbersome task to try to find directions. And Google Maps is solving that problem by allowing people to look up directions easily on their phone. And they also cater to the user's uh, vehicle preference. So if you wanna get to your destination by car, they have directions for that. But if you wanna walk there, they give you different directions. So step number two is you wanna talk about the users and also pick a user flow to go through the app. So at first you wanna go broad. So you wanna talk about who these target users are, their demographic, their problems, needs, goals, behaviors. 
And then you want to pick a specific user flow with a specific task in mind so that you can use that as an anchor to sort of navigate the app. So if we take TikTok as an example, the predominant users are the Gen Z and the millennial. They're the younger crowd. Baby boomers are not really going to be on TikTok trying to make videos and go viral. So then the problem that TikTok is solving for is that content consumption and creation is pretty boring on other platforms. And they're solving that by giving a very creative tool for people to edit their videos on their mobile phones. So then the user flow can be a high schooler trying to make a TikTok video of a challenge that is going viral. So with the user flow in mind, you wanna open up the app and navigate and start calling out the things that you see and start critiquing the app. So the things that you wanna cover during this portion is you want to talk about the visual and the UI. So what are some of the patterns that you see when it comes to the UI components that are being used? What are some of the inconsistencies? How are they using color, typography, iconography? Are there good affordances and signifiers? How's the discoverability of some of these features? You also want to mention hierarchy. So on a given screen or page, how is information being displayed? What's the information architecture there? How are design elements grouped and ordered? It's also good to cover some of the opportunities that the app has to grow and evolve their products. So what are some of the short-term, long-term product and business strategies that they can implement? And what are some of the trade-offs for implementing those strategies? So once you prepare a structure for the critique, you can literally apply this to any apps. And the best thing about that is if your interviewer ends up picking an app that you didn't practice for or that you didn't expect them to pick, you're not gonna be completely thrown off because you have a structure in place. You know how to drive the conversation. You have a guide that's going to guide you through this app critique. You're not alone. You're gonna be able to come back to earth and think clearly because you know exactly what points you need to hit and how you need to hit those points. Some other general tips I have are, you're expected to drive the conversation, so don't wait for the interviewer to start asking you questions. Two is, take time to breathe. It's okay if your mind goes completely blank for 10 seconds. I do that a lot in my interviews. If my mind goes blank and I'm just rambling on some nonsense, I stop and I ask the interviewer to give me some time. I would say, I need some time to think. Would you would you mind giving me a couple seconds? And it feels like eternity. Those three seconds feel like eternity, but it's totally worth taking a breath and, and collecting your thoughts. The last tip is practice, practice, practice. Practicing really does make perfect, especially when it comes to public speaking. And I know these recruiters are gonna tell you not to practice, oh, it's gonna be casual, don't worry about it. Those are all lies, okay? You wanna practice so that even if something throws you off, you've rehearsed it so many times that it's just part of who you are. Like, you don't have to think twice about it. My hope is that these tips have reduced some of the anxiety around app critiques and you know exactly what to expect and what to focus on. So hope you ace your app critiques and interviews and I will see you in my next video. Bye.